So if we think about the VOR, it's the vestibular ocular reflex. It goes from the inner ear, which is an in organ, that then goes to the brain that's processed. And then this is an ascending tract that talks to all three cranial nerves. So it has a lot to do with ocular motor. And so you can have an ocular motor impairment that affects the VOR. But also the VOR, if we haven't said it enough, is so context specific that, you know, if and the video I was in earlier, for instance, I was actually wearing my glasses and I can't see well at all. Um, like my vision is a 2400, so my glasses are quite strong. If I try to wear my glasses too long, I get dizzy. I feel like I'm in a bubble. I, my VOR has not, my eyes, my VOR has not <coughs> adapted to being in those glasses. And so, because I'm so used to wearing contacts. So it changes just with glasses on contacts. So if, if someone wears glasses part of the time and not part of the time, consider training the VOR in and out of those glasses because their cerebellum will actually recall the weight of their glasses on their nose and adjust the gain of the VOR based on the weight of the glasses. So they're, we always have to take into consideration those different things.